Hi Huns, welcome back and in today's video I'm going to show you my box of pain meds, the little bits and bobs I use to help me get through and just little mental health tips really. So if you're interested keep watching. So I'm going to start off with my box of pain medication and um, some of this I don't use anymore but I tend to keep it. Maybe I'm a hoarder, I don't know. Okay, so first off, we have gabapentin. I think I said that right. Let me show you it. Hopefully it focuses. Um, this is to actually treat seizures from what I remember correctly. Um, and when I did take this for a course of time, I felt, you know that feeling where you are asleep and you feel like you're gonna fall? I felt like that, but like, on a normal day i weren't even sleeping and i was just like i can't cope with this any longer so i had to bin that right off um also got your standard tramadol of course honeys i'm sure you all know that one what else have we got here ah amitriptyline not a vibe whatsoever now this is crazy 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 antidepressant um reliefer reliefer relief um i'm really sorry about my sausage dog is barking so as i was saying i'm a triplin i took this for a while and i became so withdrawn from the world and myself and everything that i was a ghost i was numb i literally felt numb to everyone and everything i had no interest no expression no emotion i was just like this all the time and i hated it but it might be something that works for you but for me it just numbed my emotions and my head and i reckon i could have turned and gone into a really 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 dark place and I just had to stop taking it. Had to stop. It was awful. What else have we got in here? Oh, I don't even know how to say this. But what I do know is... It's not going to focus, is it? There we go. Yeah. What I do know is that is to stop bleeding. And I used to bleed a lot. <laughs> I did have codeine, but that makes me extremely sick. So I think I gave that to my Madra. Um, I've got Lanzaprol here, which um, is to protect your stomach. I've also got that up here, a Meprodizel, which you take to protect your stomach. Again, with heavy um, medication. What have we got here? For instance, naproxen. I take naproxen quite regularly. Um, this is my go-to. It's not, is it gonna? No, it's not. Um, <laughs> it's not that it is amazing and it works for like works for me every single time. But it is an anti-inflammatory. It helps with my headaches and sometimes it can knock off a little bit of that sharpness. Um, it doesn't completely take away the pain, but as I was saying, see that I waffle all the time. This is my go-to at the moment, naproxen. And you have to take that with the imeprodizol to protect your stomach because they are so harsh, so, so harsh. And you can only take them with paracetamol. You cannot take other anti-inflammatories with them. I've done it before, please don't do it. Trust me, you don't wanna do it. Um, what else have we got in here? Um, ooh, la, 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 la. Ah, my Oromor. Now, it's a highly addictive Oromor. The same with Tramadol. It is so addictive. Um, and morphine capsules, which I actually do have in there. I forgot to show you. They're, the look of them makes me feel like, like I want to heave because I hate morphine. And this is obviously an alternative of morphine. It is a solution of morphine. Um, I, again, I don't take this often. I don't like to rely on drug medication. 
um i've still got quite a lot in there to be fair um but this is like my go-to if i'm really 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 bad and i need to just be knocked out i'll take that with the naproxene and paracetamol and that's how i i sleep through pain otherwise i'll be up all night in absolutely tears tears all night long like a crying baby um what else have we got medication wise that's here oh my pill this is the pill that i am on i've got to hide my face for it to there we go this is lucette um it is the same as yasmin just a different name um but currently i've been taking this for four months now coming into the fourth or fifth month and touch wood I'm not a psycho and it's stopping my bleeding. I'm not bleeding through it, gratefully. It's not stopping my pain. Currently, I literally feel like my kidney is gonna fall out of my mini moo, but it, it's stopping the bleeding, which I'm happy about at the moment. Um, so yeah, that is my medication stuff. Oh no, I've also got this Holland and Barrett CBD muscle balm cream smells exactly like deep heat um which to be fair i do use this quite a lot um i think i just like the burn and the smell of it um also bu pads um i don't have any with me to show you but they're like they look like a massive plaster i don't know you can literally stick them across here or across your lower back and it's just like what you would do with this but they're big plus and they stay on it and they last for hours and they smell unbelievable it's like strong peppermint and people can smell it around you too so it's like a little perfume but and um, i also love their products um i'll link i'll link their site below because i actually don't have anything at the minute but i will be ordering it so so another two things of my go-tos, I use this every day, is these acupuncture mats. Yoga acupuncture mats, who knows, it's definitely not a yoga mat though, but I have read someone write that before. Literally opens like this. Oh, oh you bastard. <laughs> it hurts. You open it like this. This is the neck pillow and you just lie on there for i lie on there for about 15 to 20 minutes i try to couldn't at first god it hurts look i'll show you on my hand so i'll press it on my hand this is what your back will look like so don't be alarmed if you have a phobia of hurdles don't look at your back but it's weird you like it's like uh, it's like acupuncture in a well it is an acupuncture map but obviously it's not real acupuncture but it's similar and you can sort of sometimes feel the stress relief like leave your body and sometimes when i've got really really bad lower back pain it's quite nice because i'll lie on them and when i get up for about five ten minutes i can't feel that pain anymore because it feels like it's just been pulled out of me and i love it it's really good and then i've also got this bad boy <laughs> this is a massager i get my little brother and sister to always do it for me and just stick on my back and it's like it is so powerful i think this is like 30 quid from mankind it was actually a father's day present from my sister to my dad and i don't think he's seen it ever since he got it really and that was about a year ago but this is this is this is good as well nice little back massager for moi okay moving on I also have this. This is a godsend. This is honestly one of the best hand machines I have used. And look how cute the packaging is. It's just so adorable. Like, nice to meet you. No, darling, it's bloody nice to meet you. So. It comes like this. I'm, I can't obviously put it on because I do have a jumpsuit on, um, but I will do a separate video um, showing you. It is this little cute device. So this 
I just clip on to inside like my jeans, my tracksuit bottoms, whatever I'm obviously wearing. So it just clips like this. Obviously I wouldn't stick it here, but it just clips like that. And then it's got the two pads. Now, obviously you'd stick them on your tummy there and there or on your back, depending on your pain. And you literally just press the on button. I don't know if it's gonna come because I'm in the background. You've got, there we go, you've got the on button and then you've got a button that goes up and down and that is the control of the intense, like how intense you want the vibrations to go through and it goes high. Like to the point I'm like, oh, is that hurting? But at the same time I'm like, no, well I love it. So um, I do highly recommend them. They're easy, it, the charge lasts for absolutely ages. Um, I've had no issue with my battery on it and yeah. It's definitely my little go-to and I highly recommend it too. And what I'll do is I'll also attach their link into the bottom where you can get yourself your own. Yeah, baby. Um, it works wonders when I've got mild pain or I know periods coming. Um, so that is my go-to for that. Um, severe pain, you girls know what it's like. Not even off not even orphine. What? Not even morphine works. But it is something to add to your pain relief, relief list. And I'll tell you the truth, girls. If it was crap, I'd, I'd say. But I love it. And of course, my honeys. The sage. And crystal healing. I also wear one on my neck. I've got a rose quartz on my neck. And it's also got my star sign attached to it, which is a Capricorn. So definitely look up Crystal Healing and get some sage for that negative energy. <sighs> Another one of my go-tos is this amazing hot water bottle. Look at the size of it. It is UU bottles. If you want to have a little look, I will attach the link below. And what you do is you literally just tie it up like this and it covers the lower abdominal and the back if you suffer with bad back and it is honestly a lifesaver and a little secret sometimes I sleep with it like this it's like a cuddle just no man perfect I'm sure all of you honeys have a box full of period care. Shall we see how? I've got quite a lot actually. Bam, baby. We've got sanitary towels and tampons in here. And my favorite. They're so cute. Ah. Oh, it's not gonna work. How do I do it? How do these people do them? Aha, this is why they do this. So yeah, these are my go-to tamps. And I also have their sanitary towels too. They're just plain cute. They are organic and they, I don't know if you girls get the same thing. I'm sure you do. Um, tampons can be quite difficult and uncomfortable to wear. Whereas I find these organic tampons so much more comfortable. Don't get me wrong, I don't wear tampons often, but if you know, I went for a long walk or a bike ride or to the gym or, um, for a drink with the girls in the evening if I could, which is hardly ever when I'm on a period. But, you know, hypothetically speaking and dreaming, um, I would wear a tampon. Um, other than that, I stay in my sanitary towels, girls. Um, yeah, my period box. So the past year, maybe two years, I have looked into the law of attraction i don't know if a lot of people know what that is but i highly recommend you reading the secret the power of the secret either of them they're both basically the same but they are incredible and it's made me really really try to control my mindset and my negative thinking i have been probably known to be so negative 
but the past couple of years I have completely changed my mindset and I'm still learning now I'm not going to say oh my god it's the best thing well actually I am going to say it's the best thing but I'm not saying that oh my god I'm healed I'm I'm the most positive person you'll ever meet in your life because I'm not but I'm learning and I'm trying and I really highly recommend you doing the same thing we need to like come to terms with that we can't control our pain to an extent we can't mm, do i mean that i think more so we can't uh, get we need to come to terms with that we, we've got endometriosis we're going to live with this for the rest of our life until this miraculous day happens where we find a cure but for the meantime we've got to deal with the fact that this is our life now and we're gonna to have to just learn to deal with it now i know how physically draining it is trust me i fully get it um, and how mentally and emotionally draining it is too because trust me i get it i've been in very 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 dark places before as i have said to the extent of suicide and to the extent of being on antidepressants so anyway little tips for me the from me that that i think helped me is reading i don't know if you're book lovers or not i am but i got a bunch of books here that i like that are my go-to's and i do reread them um i don't have the secret with me at the moment because i have lent it to a friend because they need to get into the law of attraction because i swear by it i, I do but for instance look these little cute books how to live a confident life it's not necessarily big books they're just like cute little quotations and sometimes reading them makes you think oh god yeah that, that's so right or yeah i can do this um another little this is a such a cute little self-care book um and i think i bought this from the works and i'll show you a page i won't i won't actually read them all but as you can see there's stuff like how to take a mental health day or don't ignore your pain um maintain your ability to balance exercise your brain just little daily reminders of what to do and then inside this is the mind and it will give you like a, a few little pointers and paragraphs and it's just it's just nice to look through especially when you're feeling crap um we also have this is fabulous darling bam the power of now i've read this probably three times still don't understand it because it is very difficult but i'm willing to try and then this is the follow-up book with it no 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 sorry ignore me here it is this is the follow-up book a new earth which i haven't actually read yet i still got to read that um this is practicing the power of now um and it's just a spiritual guide to enlightenment and i'm all for it all for it um we've also got reasons to stay alive i got this for a friend when she was struggling and she said that it is one of the best books she has read and it has made her look at life in a completely different way and i agree it is bloody marvelous honestly girls you need to get on the vibe another one 35 powerful method methods being happy bang it's just they're easy reads honestly girls these if we can learn to control our mindsets we can feel positive even in a shit situation and um, we've also got this one which is similar to um the secret some people find the secret a little bit too over empowering which is completely understandable um, each of their own so maybe this one would be worth a read if it's not your kind of vibe and then obviously we've got the most famous geese this one i love you follow him on instagram he'll inspire you every day so they're my little go-to reads i've probably got more i can see one now across my room but <laughs> we've got to learn how to capture our mindsets and the way we think about life and the way we think about ourselves and honestly being able to hold that and control it is the most incredible thing on earth honestly you can you can change your whole life by the way you think and please 
girls just law of attraction it fully look into it and try train your mind into seeing the good in every single situation that you find yourself in even if it's difficult you've got to find something example go into a and e they give you pain relief and then they send you home okay I'm, i'd be furious and i'd probably be crying but the positive in that is i went i had the bollocks to go sorry for swearing again and they gave me pain relief that is my positive in that situation and there's so many different situations you can find a positive in you've just got to control your mindset and adapt the brain to knowing how to find the positive within so that is just a little video of little bits and bobs that i have for my endometriosis and pain management and mind management i guess um i will do more videos like this but what i want you to do right now is to sit down order yourself a book a feel good book or watch a feel good film light a candle and just relax i know baby learn how to meditate that is another thing and get do some yoga how did i forget to even mention yoga yeah on your list to do good book learn to meditate do breathing exercises and yoga and trust me when you start getting hold of that mind of yours you will start feeling a lot better about life even though we're in a shit storm okay well like subscribe and comment i love you all thank you for watching adios